The year 2021 is another big year for SpaceX, as the company continues to drive its major projects forward. From a space-based internet service available anywhere on Earth, to a passenger transport vessel eventually destined for Mars. More importantly, SpaceX schedules the first Falcon Heavy launch in two years, in early October. So, what is it all about, and how is SpaceX preparing for such a launch? Let's find out. If you are new here, we warmly welcome you. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button so that you will never miss out on any of our SpaceX updates. Let's not waste a second and move on with the video. Before we go into detail, it is important to know, what is Falcon Heavy? Falcon Heavy is the most powerful operational rocket in the world by a factor of two, with the ability to lift into orbit nearly 64 metric tons, 141,000 pounds. Falcon Heavy can lift more than twice the payload of the next closest operational vehicle, the Delta IV Heavy. Falcon Heavy is composed of three Falcon 9 engine cores, whose 27 Merlin engines together generate more than 5 million pounds of thrust at liftoff, equal to approximately 18 747 aircraft. With more than 5 million pounds of thrust at liftoff, Falcon Heavy is the most capable rocket flying. By comparison, the liftoff thrust of the Falcon Heavy equals approximately 18 747 aircraft at full power. Falcon Heavy can lift the equivalent of a fully loaded 737 jetliner, complete with passengers, luggage and fuel to orbit. Merlin is a family of rocket engines developed by SpaceX for use on its Falcon 1, Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy launch vehicles. Merlin engines use RP-1 and liquid oxygen as rocket propellants in a gas generator power cycle. The Merlin engine was originally designed for recovery and reuse. Is Falcon 9 the same as Falcon Heavy? No, Falcon 9 is not the same as Falcon Heavy. The Falcon Heavy is a variant of the Falcon 9 launch vehicle, consisting of three Falcon 9 first stages, a reinforced center core, and two additional side boosters. All three boosters are designed to be recovered and reused, although expendable flights are possible to increase payload capacity. SpaceX needed a more powerful rocket that could one day deliver heavy cargo payloads to Mars. For this purpose, the Falcon Heavy was adapted from three Falcon 9 engine cores for an impressive 5 million pounds of thrust at liftoff. In short, whatever the Falcon 9 can do, the Falcon Heavy does better and with more power. Falcon Heavy is based on the proven heritage and reliability of Falcon 9. The Falcon 9 was a monumental rocket design created by SpaceX to pursue unknown areas of reusable rocket technology. The standard Falcon 9 can carry 22 tons of cargo to the LOE and up to 8.3 tons to the geosynchronous transfer orbit. Its ability to reach Mars is less impressive at only 4 tons of cargo. The Falcon Heavy carried about 64 tons of cargo to low Earth orbit, 26.7 tons to the GTO, and about 17 tons of cargo to Mars. With the ability to launch cargo into low Earth orbit and autonomously touch the rocket's first stage back to Earth, the Falcon made history between 2013 and 2017. Now, SpaceX confirms the first Falcon Heavy launch in two years in early October. In February 2018, after years of anticipation, SpaceX successfully launched its triple booster Falcon Heavy rocket for the first time in a spectacular show of force. Though the center core booster got a little melty on its extreme high speed re-entry and was lost before it could attempt to land, the rocket's twin side boosters performed an iconic near simultaneous landing just a handful of miles away from where they lifted off. Then, Falcon Heavy took a good, long break. In April 2019, after a few minor delays, that Falcon Heavy Block 5 rocket completed its launch debut and first mission for a paying customer. This time around, all three boosters, two by land and one by sea, survived re-entry and performed flawless landings on a drone ship and two landing zones. A mere two months later, both of Falcon Heavy Block 5's first two recovered side boosters flew again in support of the US Air Force's STP-2 mission, a combined demonstration flight and rideshare mostly designed to push the rocket to its limits and help the military qualify it for high-value payloads. 
Once more, those side boosters successfully returned for a simultaneous landing at SpaceX's landing zones. But the mission's Block 5 center's core, re-entry, was as SpaceX itself partially expected, too hot, burning essential components and resulting in a hard landing in the Atlantic Ocean. Otherwise, the mission was a spectacular success and gave the US military practically all the data it needed to qualify the world's largest operational rocket to launch its payloads. Shockingly, however, that June 2019 launch would end up being Falcon Heavy's third and latest. In the almost 26 months since the rocket hasn't flown once, originally scheduled to launch a fourth time as early as Q4 2020, Known as USSF-44 and USSF-52, formerly AFSPC-44 and 52, both missions are scheduled to launch ethereal US military spy or communications satellites. USSF-44 is arguably the most important, as it will mark SpaceX's first direct launch to geostationary orbit or any other customer, let alone one as exacting as the US military. USSF-52 is a much simpler and more traditional launch to an elliptical geostationary transfer orbit. About a year ago, for unknown reasons, the two missions swapped positions, with USSF-44 taking the lead. Expected to launch in June 2021, as of earlier this year, Spaceflight Now first reported that USSF-44 had slipped further still to October and USSF-52 into 2022, this May. Since then, that's where the mission schedule has tentatively lain. Finally, on August 12th, SpaceX filed an FCC application for rocket communication permissions. While otherwise ordinary, this particular request stated that it was for Falcon Heavy recovery operations, and more specifically, for the simultaneous recovery of two Falcon Heavy boosters at sea. Falcon Heavy's USSF-52 GTO launch isn't as demanding and its mission profile is expected to allow SpaceX to recover all three boosters. As such, an FCC filing for a dual drone ship Falcon Heavy side booster recoveries practically guarantees that it's just for USSF-44. Per the application, SpaceX expects the mission to occur no earlier than September 25th, almost simultaneously. Launch photographer Ben Cooper also updated a long-running list of upcoming East Coast launches, confirming that Falcon Heavy's fourth launch, USSF-44, remains on track for October 2021. Ultimately, while delays are possible and likely probable, there now appears to be a strong chance that Falcon Heavy will launch for the first time in 28 months, before the end of 2021. SpaceX's first Falcon Heavy launch in two years is finally coming together. And that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to be updated with videos just like this one, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.